Guys, Terrence Bud Crawford, right in front of our faces, is pulling another duck move. Terrence Crawford, the WBO present champion, is now wanting to fight Jamel Charlo at 154. As if he's flirting with that idea. Before negotiations even get started again with Spence, he's already talking about someone else. Do we not see the pattern? Now, I've been doing a little bit of thinking. And I really don't know how much longer we can afford to hold up the sport of boxing as it's on a great trajectory. That WBO, Spence just wants to get his hands on it. I don't know that Terrence Crawford ever had intentions on fighting him. I said from the very beginning, and I think a lot of people who heard me say that, they knew either I didn't either know much about boxing, I was just a negative, maybe fanatic, or I was just a little delusional and the truth of the matter is while all of them might be correct the truth of the matter is Bud Crawford is continuing to show us reckless negotiation behaviors which leads me to my question does Terrence Bud Crawford needs a PR person does he need management or should he continue on in the way that he is negotiating his life his fights, uh, speaking to the press all the time, just kind of being hands-on, going to talk to uh, the top guys, you know, Eddie Hearns himself about a fight. He wants to speak to uh, Al Heyman. Hey, Al, you you, I, you better pick up that phone, Al Heyman. Whoa. He's got Al out there. Like, he ain't, he ain't no real nigga. Al, get him, come on out here with Spence. All I'm saying is, in my opinion, Crawford, get yourself a management team. Obviously, you don't want to do Al Heyman anymore. Probably not going to do Eddie Hearns. You already start talking boss talk, so probably not going to go with Al Heyman. If you can find somebody, I don't care if it's Jay Prince, Hulk Hogan, Mike Tyson, you cannot negotiate your fights. I'm calling it. You're running again. I already laid out what Spence needs to do. 154. Keith Thurman. Get him up out of there. Move up. Franchise champ. You know, we keep keep some some gold around us. Get a little quiet. You know, get some enjoy our money, our family. You know, get ready for one more at the end of the year. We'll take Ortiz or David Azanesian. And uh, wait, 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 wait. What about Boots? Now, what about Boots? We ain't get Boots ain't getting a fight at least for three years. If you want the fight, we're going to, you're going to take it at 154. And probably, like I said, we're going to relinquish the IBF. We don't need it. There's no need to have that right now. Or we could just hold it and just let the WBC and the WBA keep pump, pump, pumping uh, uh, the brakes at the IBF. We could do that as well. Nobody's worried about Boots. Boots is a whole story when we get to him. We got it. We're going to be ready for him. You understand? Just about the most seasoned as we can get. And he going to understand why he should have never took that fight. But we're going to knock out uh, uh, Thurman. Prove our point. Like, yo, nigga just don't want this, this heat. We fighting better competition. 154, go up there, have some fun. May even dibble-dabble, come back down, go back up. Go up even further to 60 and chill out. I don't know what Spence is going to do. But I know one thing about it is if he continue to stay where he is and, and winning and packing them seats, he can get him a fight twice a year at the AT&T Stadium, whoever he want to fight, and don't have no real obligations and sanctioning bodies and bullshit to answer to. Just, you know what I'm saying, whoever he feel he want to fight, as long as it could be Canelo, it could be anybody, man. You know, as long as it's the fight, it could be Haney. You know what I'm saying? We can come, come get your call. Whoever want this heat, you know what I'm saying, at 
you know what I'm saying? 154, I can come down. The most I could do for you is 147. Who want this money? Who, who trying to get this money? We willing to do that. But Boots, we not not let Boots go eat, man. Let him build up his record. Get some, uh, get some, um, you know, pendants on his necklace and stuff, and come back and see us. We'll be ready for Boots. Not not even tripping. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I think Crawford need to put that on his resume, man. You know what I'm saying? Get on out there. You talking about he fight like you and all this other kind of stuff? And man, come on, man, do something, bro. Do something. All the fights Crawford has done has been ones that he came behind Spence on the, on the 154 to do. Come on, bro. We want to see some new cooch, man. We want to see you take out a ball. We we didn't know if Spence could do or not. You know what I'm saying? Give give us something spectacular, man. I don't expect that because you won't even fight Spence. So I ain't going to waste my time. But all you boxing lovers out there, thank you to my subscribers and my loyalists. Thank you to my Republicans out there. You know, we moving with precision, taking our time. Make sure you Gmail me, Ebony Republicans. Gmail me at Ebony Republicans. Hit me with that description. And, yo, let's see, man. Like I said, I think we already prepared. Just go ahead and get that Thurman out the way. You know what I'm saying? That nigga quiet as a church mouse. You know what I'm saying? You better be. And once we get that fight, uh, we're going to get you guys the best promotion ever. We're going to talk that shit, hype this hoe up better than anything I see you ever seen. And we're going to get ready for this elusive, crazy fight. Earl Spence Jr. versus one-time Keith Thurman. Terrence Crawford needs to get him some promotional team. He needs to get him a PR. And he needs to stand back and be the champion that he's claiming to be and just get his money.